Welcome to an unboxing from theplayersaid.com. My name is Grant. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I received my Kickstarter copy of Barbarians at the Gates from Compass Games. <clears throat> this is a, a design by Chris Van Burden. It is a card-driven war game that deals with the... Uh, here, I'll show you the back of the box... Basically, the decline and fall of the Western Roman Empire from 337 to 476. So, <clears throat> you can see that here at the top. Uh, here's a look at the back of the box. But I, I wanted to point out the art on the front cover first. You'll notice uh, the artist is Shane Logan. I, I really like, the one, the style of that uh, art. I like the color palette that is used. I just feel it's very evocative and uh, really I'm impressed with that that artwork. So great job Shane. If you don't know Shane, he does some design work as well. Uh, old school tactical. Uh, he's designed a couple of volumes of that. Um, but yeah, great looking art. And in fact, this is a very high quality box. This is a, it's a three inch, I'm sorry, a two inch box, but it's, it's thicker, a little more durable than some of the normal boxes. I will say the, the cover here seems to kind of be coming off, um, but that's not that big of a deal, but this is a really nice looking product and I'm very excited. I've opened it up and kind of looked through it. Uh, very excited though. To get this to the table. I did an interview with the designer a year and a half ago on this. This was included in my most anticipated war games of 2022. Put a post on the blog in January. It's a game simply that I have really been interested in in playing. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get uh, get started. But once again, really nice box. Just think it's very well done. <clears throat> I'll go ahead and pull this over here. Uh, first thing you see is there are two packs of cards. Once again, this is a card-driven war game. So I've already kind of pre-ripped this. Wanted to show you these cards. You'll notice on, on here it's, it's Latin for barbarian, so barbarous. Uh, and there's an entire deck of these cards. There are some also here for the, for the Roman player. Well, just the last uh, couple. So uh, there's the Roman cards. I'll, I'll show you those here in a moment. I really like the style uh, of these cards. Very simple, very clean. Uh, I, I, I don't know. They're also very thick cards. And then here you can see on the back, um, really like that the barbarians are green. These are the op points. You can use those to take various actions. And then there's an event here. Um, some of them you can see remove after play, third wave number 100. So these are kind of numbered. First wave number 42. Uh, this refers to the Allen uh, barbarian invasion of the empire. Alemanni invasion, uh, Alemanni threat. So let's read the text on this. Place the Alemanni tribal marker and four barbarian CU on the Magna Germania space and gain three plunder. So you can see there are uh, different different types of cards. I, I don't remember. I, I should have read that interview before I opened this. But you'll notice here really are three different types of cards. This red, if I, I believe correctly, um, I thought this was activation of a general, but I, I don't remember. Uh, ambush is, is kind of a reaction card. And then that looks like an event, uh, more like it. So anyway, really like the art. I think it's very well done. It's kind of muted. Really enjoyed it. There's a, there's a black uh, color behind that, Barbarian Fervor play during a battle, so obviously that's a battle card. Um, but anyway, very cool, really like the art, like the way these cards are laid out. Really looking forward to getting this one to the table and uh, enjoying this. There are a lot of those cards too. I bet there's 
Let me see if it says on the back of the box. I did not count the cards. There are, yeah, it doesn't really say, it probably says it in the rule book. We'll, uh, we'll look at that. But anyway, there's the Barbarian cards. And then here I'll go ahead and get the Exultus is written there. These are the Roman uh, Legion cards. Look like they're about the same number. Their cards are with a red background. You can see they have the same uh, colors there. There's black. Uh, there's a blue, a blue, a blue, a couple different kinds. Um, I don't see a red because red would be hard to see on a red-backed card, right, or a red background. So anyway, there's a look at the Roman cards. I think they're very well done. Look at that art. I'm just really impressed. Overall, very, very impressed with this game uh, just from a, an aesthetics perspective. Here's the dice sealed for freshness. You'll notice these are not going to be stale. They're going to be crisp dice, uh, but you have a red and a gray one. Sorry, being a little sarcastic there. So the next thing we see, there are a couple of manuals. This is the playbook. And then this is the rule book. Let's, let's take a look at the playbook uh, really quickly. There are 30 pages in the playbook. There is, I think there's some examples of play. Here are some designer notes here at the end. Um, card clarifications. So maybe there's some cards that the, uh, the text needs to be clarified a little bit. That's fairly common for card-driven games. And then here's a gazetteer, which is pretty interesting. This is a way to find uh, the the different territories because I'm I'm assuming some cards without looking at them say, hey, in Italia Ananaria, you place this and you have to know where that is. So that's a gazetteer. And then here it looks like there is a an example of of play. So they've got the different phases: draw phase, impulses, attrition, control, migration. So this is literally walking you through an extended example of play. Always feel that's very important. These are the scenarios. So here you can see this is the Germanic invasions. This is a tournament scenario. Looks like there's three or four different ones. The barbarian invasions, 364 to 476. There may be more and I'm just, um, yeah, there are. There are several, looks like there's four or five uh, different scenarios. So here, successor strife, the first migrations, the Gothic invasions, the final decline, the Germanic invasions, the barbarian invasions, and barbarians at the gates. So yeah, there are seven of those different scenarios. I would really love to play every single one of those with Alexander and really get this one to run it through, to run it through its paces. Uh, looks really good. Um, Chris is a very good designer. We have played his European Turmoil. Uh, he also has Europe and Turmoil 2 coming out and several other, other designs that he has uh, in the works. But there's a look at the playbook. Here is the rule book. It's fairly thick. Uh, the rule book is 43 pages, including the back page, which is 44. Um, looks to be fairly well illustrated. So here's an example uh, of some restrictions, which is... Always good to have examples. There's some examples there. This is full color, glossy, fairly thick card, card uh, I'm sorry, not card, paper stock. Very nice. Uh, here's some examples of uh, cards. So yeah, looks, uh, looks pretty cool. Very, very uh, excited about this one, frankly. Here's kind of a look at the anatomy of a strategy card. You got the ops value, the event, like I said, the event name, um, deck and card number, and then remove if event is played. And then here's those different types of cards. Battle card is the black. Uh, response card is the ambush. Uh, invasion card is the one that has the red. Um, so anyway, there you go. That's kind of a look at the rule book. Very interested in this one. I think it's going to be pretty awesome. So yeah, very nice production. I'm very glad we backed this on Kickstarter. This was a Kickstarter exclusive or add-on. Um, I think it's some alternative setups and maybe a different scenario. Yes, it's a 
it's a different scenario. This is One Empire Undivided, and it gives some, some background there. So that was cool that they included this entire new scenario. Uh, so we'll put that there. The next thing we see are the play aids. There are, uh, looks like three different player aids. Normal card stock, they are not double-sided, so they are single-sided. Um, here you can see you've got the sequence of play, the reinforcement schedule, you've got a raid table, plunder track. Here on the right, you've got sieges and that procedure. Uh, here you have battle, battle ties, victory, interception and avoiding of battle, migrations, interception, I already said that, stacking, usurpation, and then strategy card play with some different uh, notes and information there. I'd have to look at that to better understand uh, what those are, and then and then some action rules. So they look to be fairly beefy player aids, uh, but my guess is they're going to help you uh, get into the game. There is a uh, you know a reference to where that rule is found, 5.0. So you're going to be able to find that in the rule book and read it. Nice looking play aids, if not uh, fairly basic. So the next thing we come upon, there are four counter sheets. Really, it's three and a half. Um, yeah, they're pretty basic. The, the counters are pretty basic. I, I'm okay with minimalistic. I think they look good. I'll give you kind of a close up. These are obviously Roman legions. Uh, you've got the different denominations, three. Here you've got some five and tens, and then a lot of ones, twos, and threes. Uh, down at the bottom, you've got, these are Castra, so these are different defenses. Colonia, th those are colonies, I'm assuming, as you expand and grow. And then you've got different markers. I I'm wondering if those are markers for the different events that on go or happen. You've got siege markers there at the bottom. Not sure what those blue units are. Maybe those are, I don't know, mercenaries that can be hired. They are dual-sided counters. You'll notice uh, they're red on the front of these, and you turn them over, and they're light blue. Don't know the distinction of those, but they're nice counters. They're simple. I would classify this, them as minimalistic. What I would say about them is they are pre-rounded. So you're going to get a pre-rounded counter, Sorry. I don't have to clip these. And I'm going to be honest, I love clipping. I really don't mind clipping. In fact, it's it's somewhat therapeutic and I enjoy it. But after you clip three or four different games, you, you start to grow a little tired of it. So I'm actually really glad to see that these are pre-rounded. I'm glad. Uh, here you have some different types of markers representing tribes. You see Alan, Alamani, Angle, Bagade, Jute, I'm assuming those are different tribes, Ostrogoths, uh, here you have Saxons and Barbarians, etc. Barbarian baptiz Baptization, so we saw one of that event, I think that's one we looked through, um, and then these must be uh, Barbarian units. So you flip those over, and they're red on the back, so I find that very interesting, don't really know, but those are nice looking counters. Here's a bunch of control uh, counters. You've got Roman at the top and obviously Barbarian uh, at the bottom, dual-sided. And then here is the final counter sheet. It's just a half counter sheet. These are different leaders. You've got Roman leaders at the top, and then these are Barbarian leaders. There are different values. I I'm assuming... One of them's mobility and one of them's their leadership value. But I, once again, I didn't look at the rule book uh, in depth. So anyway, there's a look at the counters, three and a half sheets, pre-rounded. And now to the piece de resistance, the, uh, the big mounted map board. So this is a, not rare in a compass game. They just don't do a lot of uh, mounted map boards. I'm okay with that. We have nice... Uh, big plexi, and I don't mind covering a map. I know some people do mind that. I don't. So let me go ahead and move the camera. So this is a big map, y'all. You, you can see it's it's got some breadth and some width. It's pretty big. 
Nice uh, mounted map, clear to read. Uh, they don't have any terrain shown on here. It's all fairly standard. It is a point-to-point -point movement game. These are probably city hexes, and it's probably listed. Uh, these are, this is the turn track on the left. I don't see... Actually, I don't see... Uh, oh, here we go. Walled city are these. These are walled cities. Cultivated spaces are these. That's probably to do with foraging. Uh, border spaces. I'm not seeing where those are necessarily on the on the map. Uh, and a transit space, a little bitty black circle. So these are transit spaces here. They cover larger uh, larger areas. One thing I like about the map is you've got different kind of helps over here. I'll, I'll move that. I realize you can't see that. Combat table, attrition table for both sides. You've got your discard and your deck kind of boxes. Displace leaders, you've got activation tables. So you've got some aids there to playing the game. The other thing you'll notice up here in the left, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of fold that up because I wanna show this to you. I think it, to me, it looks very interesting and I, I don't remember all the rules. You can see these boxes here. These are provincial control boxes. And then up at the top, let me go ahead and fold that like that. These are tribal alignment boxes. So you're going to fight for control of those uh, and whether they're friendly to you or not. So to me, that that's going to add some depth uh, to this game. It's not just going to be about combat, but it's also going to be about uh, some of the politicking, which I think, frankly, is is very, very cool. So, yeah, that's a look at uh, Barbarians at the Gates. Uh, one of the newest games from Compass. Literally, it just came out, and I just received it uh, last week. And now I dropped a counter. I'll find it. But, yeah, I, I think it's a really good-looking game. I want to kind of lay these components out for you as I finish up. Once again, I... I, I uh, I've only played one of Chris's games. We played Europe and Turmoil, but frankly, Alexander and I both enjoyed it. We had a good time um, and felt like it was a, a very good design. So really looking forward to this one. I think it's going to be really, uh, really a good experience. And I frankly can't wait to play it. So now that I've unboxed it, I will uh, work hard to get this organized, punched, don't have to clip it, so that's a good thing. Yay. Uh, read through the rules, and, and we'll try to play this here in the next uh, three, four, five weeks. I We're working on Pacific War. We're working on some other big games. So um, this may be one I can get up to speed on quickly and get it ready so that we can play it. But Barbarians at the Gates, there you go. Check it out. Uh, look for a video review down the road, um, and I look forward to playing. So thanks. I've been Grant from The Player's Aid.